Hey guys, all right. Welcome back to our business series. I'm super excited to share more information with you and I cannot wait to get your feedback. Here's today's topic. Tips for momentrepreneurs. <laughs> That's a word that I just kind of played with. Um, a couple people asked me how did I have any tips for moms that are entrepreneurs? Absolutely. This it will apply to whether you're booed up, you know, you're partnered, married to somebody, or if you're single. I'm single with kids, so it's a little bit different. Um, my biggest piece of advice to a momentrepreneur is balance. It sounds so simple, but it's so difficult sometimes. I am still working on keeping balance. I feel like I'm on, what are those balls here? The flat on the bottom and then it's a ball. Uh, the balancing like, ball, yeah, the, it's, it's like a half cut medicine ball kind of, mm -hmm. anyway, the balance ball. I feel like that's my life sometime. Um, you really have to find balance. And when you do, you start to feel like your core muscles, it's not so hard anymore. It's a struggle to find balance, but it is so key. The second best piece of advice I can give you is structure. You got to have structure in your household, especially if you're a single mom. You, it is imperative that you have your kids on a schedule. And I don't mean like, you don't have to be a drill sergeant, but you, you just have to make them stick to it. Like our bath time around here is eight o'clock, no matter what, it's eight o'clock. Bedtime is 8.30 and you have to stick to it. On the weekends, you know, it's a little bit later, um, but even when you're gone, you have to stick to it. They need a routine and they, kids thrive off of structure. My people wonder, like the moms at school all the time, even Garcelle Beauvais is a friend of mine and she's on um, Hollywood Live in the mornings, if y'all not watching. Shout out to Garcelle, hey y'all. Um, she, they were talking about moms um, being dressed up for school or whatever it was and she mentioned me because the moms freak out at, at, at our school. Like they're like, how in the world are you so put together every morning? And it's just time management. I'm only able to do that because my children have structure. My little guy, will not only get his breakfast unless I'm going to cook him a hot breakfast, which doesn't happen all the time because I don't have time. Um, he'll do his breakfast. He'll do his lunch and lay it out so I can see it to make sure, you know, he has an appropriate, appropriate uh, servings of whatever it is to have balance in his lunch. Um, and he's, he gets himself dressed. Even this morning, I was so tired last night. Like literally when I talk about being an entrepreneur, and working for yourself and working 17, 18 hours a day. This is what I mean. There's a light box up on my bed right now. And the light box is what we use to photograph small things like especially the sunglasses and stuff. And it keeps everything white and light around it. Well, I was so tired yesterday because I only slept two hours a night before. Um, I put the light box up there. And I was like, well, I'll just photograph stuff on my bed. And I also had to put him to bed. I washed his clothes. <laughs> well, I didn't get very far with photographing because I was doing my notes for this too. And I fell asleep before putting his clothes in the dryer. Well, this morning he woke up on his own. He went downstairs. He didn't freak out. He saw that the clothes weren't in the dryer. He picked out what he wanted to wear for the day and put those few little pieces in the dryer and turned it on all by himself. By the time I woke up, his clothes were dry and he had them on. I mean, that comes from structure, people. That comes from a routine. That comes from structure giving him confidence to know he knows the routine. He knows what to do. He's, you know, he didn't, some kids would freak out. I mean, holy hell would break loose. Like World War III would start. I have friends with kids like that. Like, you know, um, so that's why it's important as a mom to have structure in your household. It's gonna be good for you because it will force you to be organized. I still work on some organizing issues. 
Um, but yeah, it'll force you to be organized, which is critical as well. Another very important thing, make time for yourself. You have to make time for yourself, whether it be a spa day or, yeah, it's like spa day, right? I don't get spa days because I don't have time, but find an hour, go get a massage, go get your nails and toes done, go do something that you thoroughly enjoy. Even if it's just for a sliver of time, you have to do that because you have to invest back in yourself. Otherwise you will lose your shit basically and fall apart. Um, you have to take care of yourself. Um, try to eat right. I'm not telling you to be a vegan or a vegetarian. I will be the first to tell you, I enjoy food very much and consider myself a foodie. Um, but there's moderation. Moderation is the key to everything, AKA balance. Um, just don't overeat, you know? You can still enjoy your food, just don't overdo it. Try to incorporate some sort of physical activity, um, whether it be working out or doing something, hiking, whatever it may be, just as a release because we have, you know, all these endorphins and stuff like that. And you have stress that builds up and you have to have a release. Like you need something. So um, that's really kind of critical. I don't work out like I used to. I don't, I haven't really worked out consistently and I don't know how long, but the thing is throughout my day, I'm not just sitting at a desk. I'm very active throughout the day. And that's really not enough, but you know, it's, it suffices for right now until I get back on track. Um, but, yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, like my golf clubs are in my trunk right now and I'll go to the driving range and just hit a small bucket because I'm releasing that energy that's bottled up inside of me. Um, yeah, so that's that's important. So somebody specific, specifically wanted to know my routine um, about keeping myself balanced. Well, it's kind of what I've been screaming the whole time. Balance, balance, balance. Um, just as I said about starting your day earlier, I, I think that's, that's really, really key because you have to learn how to maximize your time and organize your time. Um, you can, you wake up at 10, I mean, really how much of a work day do you have to, to work with? Um, but with me being dressed and ready to go, I know automatically at 746 after I dropped my son off at 745. So from 746 to 4 p.m., that's my window to maximize every single minute, whether it be filling orders or like now shooting these segments or trying to edit or having meetings or auditions or whatever it is. There's so much for you to do throughout the day when you work for yourself. There's always something you can do. Um, so just make sure you're utilizing and maximizing that time that you have, especially if you're a mom, your kids are in school, use that time. Um, the one thing I do want to say about somebody who is, you know, married, just be careful when you're starting a company. Um, you definitely have to find balance because the last thing you want is for your partner, your husband, whoever it is to resent you because you're not spending an appropriate amount of time. I'm sure they're supportive of you. They want you to do your best and be your best person um, and be successful, but you still need to make time for them. Um, so from four o'clock until eight 30, I stop what I'm doing. Sometimes if I have a deadline, I'm guilty. I'll get my kids settled, make sure, you know, they're good or whatever. And then I'll go back to working. And those days I don't cook. I'll like order something in or go pick up something. Um, and then we'll eat together and then they do shower and then bedtime. But uh, for the most part, that four o'clock until 830, that's the time that I spend devoted to my, my kids and, you know, the family. So maybe you're cooking in between that time because mom entrepreneurs, like that's what we do. We handle everything. We juggle balls and we're still multitasking, you know, holding a conference call while we're juggling. If that's not who you are, then it might not work out for you or it may take you a long time to become successful. Um, but back to your spouse, your, your better half or your other half, I won't say better because you're better. Um, your other half, 
don't neglect them. I'm just warning you, do not neglect them. And no, that is not what happened to me. I'm just telling you from me being raised with dudes and, and being fortunate enough to understand a little better the psyche of some guys. Um, don't neglect them. When you put the kids to bed at 8.30 or whatever your bedtime is, from 8.30 to 10.30, fireworks need to be going off. Not necessarily, like not just like sexually or whatever. Yeah, you need to please them. But sometimes it's just stimulating just to talk or, you know, sometimes guys don't want to talk. Um, maybe it's watching something with them just so you're still making a proper investment into the person who's the closest to you. It's really important. If you don't have the luxury of doing it after you get the beds, the kids to bed, then maybe y'all should schedule time in the morning. That's a part of waking up early. Maybe instead of getting up at seven, you need to get up at five or six or, you know, you know your situation. Um, I'm just saying, you know, you have to find that balance and find time for everyone. If people are important to you and you choose to make them a priority, then treat them like they're a priority. Let them know that they're important to you. Um, you definitely don't want your kids to feel sacrificed and you don't want to sacrifice your relationship because at the end of the day, family, if you have nothing else, if you have a solid family, I'm telling you it's nothing better. You know, I know this is kind of like the closed door conversation that we kind of have, you know, with the family, like we have company. It's like, come on back here, let me talk to you. You close the door. That's this kind of conversation. Um, but I'm really excited to know that so many people are interested in having their own stuff. Um, that's very exciting to me and um, very rewarding to be able to share uh, some of the things that I know, uh, mistakes that I've made, because I've made a lot of mistakes. So let my mistakes be your blueprint. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm a dork.